Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from Insights and Automation with a quick look at a product from ProSoft. It is the ANX4AB DHRIO. And this is unlike the recent product we took a look at from RTA, which allowed us to map data from Data Hobby Plus PLCs over to Allen Bradley Ethernet PLCs with no message instructions. Really cool product. This product is different because it actually is a bridge. It bridges the two networks. It's kind of like you would um, have with a, a DHRAO card and an Ethernet card and a 1756 chassis, right? So in any case, um, I just went through the whole setup of this for my members over on YouTube and the Automation blog. If you want to see that, if you're a member, just go uh, take a look at it. Um, but I did want to do a episode here of the Automation Minute to tell you, the general audience, what I found. First of all, I got to tell you, very easy to set up. Let's go ahead and zoom in on it. Um, out of the box, the manual was very good. We're talking about this guy right here. The manual was excellent. Um, I really thought they did a good job with it. And out of the box comes up, set up for, um, you know, DHCP, but it also has a fallback address if it doesn't find your DHCP, DHCP server. And then... Um, on the Data Hour Plus side, once you get connected to it over the web page, over Ethernet, the Data Hour Plus side was very easy to set up. Mine actually came up as an existing node number, so I had to change its node number. I was already set up 576K, so once I did that, it all everything came up on the network, and I was able to go through with RSLogix 500 and RSLogix 5 and download to my PLCs and go on with my PLCs, online with my PLCs, and... Um, you know, all with this little box here, right? This very small little box. And I didn't have to have, let's go ahead and zoom out. I didn't have to have a 1756 chassis with DHRIO cards. Yeah, you can see them there. So I got my uh, EMBT card and I got a couple of DHRIO cards there. And, uh, you know, you need a chassis and a power supply. That's a lot of money. Plus, these DHRIO cards are going obsolete. They're being, uh, I think, end of the year. Rock was getting rid of them. So definitely, if you're thinking about um, bridging your Data Hive Plus network to your Ethernet network, um, you definitely want to check this out. Again, I did the whole walkthrough set up for the first time for the members, uh, both on YouTube and on the Automation blog. And um, this is not the only thing it does. It can do other things like connect the PanelView Plus 7 to a Data Hive Plus network, which they don't take the DH card anymore, the RN6 anymore. So you need a panel view plus seven to talk data. How plus this is probably going to be the product you want to use. But in any case, uh, if you're interested in it, contact your local uh, Rockwell or ProSoft representative. I'm sure they can get you more information on it. I did reach out to them to get a price, but uh, as of ear time, I had not heard back from them. In any case, I hope this uh, short little uh, episode of the Automation Minute was helpful. Again, if you want to see the full episode where we set it all up, um, check that out. Uh, it's under the members episodes of the Automation Show. And with that, I just want to wish you all health and happiness. And until next time, my friends, peace.